It's busy right. day in the weather department for sure. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, especially last night, very busy night. And I want to start with the talking about, you know, what really caused that thunderstorm to develop. And it's one of those situations where you just have a few moments, you know, to predict it. We were talking about it last night at, I think it was five o'clock, and I said, oh, it looks like few, this is going to come together and we could see a little development in Northern yeah. Bear County. Well, it turned into a lot of development. Mm -hmm. And so it was all caused by outflow boundary and outflow boundaries coming together. You hear us talking about that. We use that, those words all the time, but here's a little explanation for you. I want to take a quick sec to talk about outflow boundaries because that's what caused the very heavy rainfall that we had Labor Day night. We see outflow boundaries all the time here in South Texas. Let's talk about what causes them. Well, first of all, you have a pre-existing thunderstorm such as Labor Day night or in the afternoon, I should say. And within that pre-existing thunderstorm, you get cold air aloft that's heavier than the rest of the environment. So it sinks with the downdraft, hits the ground and spreads across the ground. It's, it's a little wedge of cold air and kind of like a mini little cold front, which then lifts the pre-existing warm and humid air that's in place. And once that lifts, it develops a new thunderstorm. And with that new thunderstorm, such as the case of Labor Day night, can be very heavy rainfall. And we did have unique conditions that were very favorable for the development of the new storm, along with actually two of these boundaries that came together to really enhance that lift. That's a little bit about outflow boundaries. We've seen them before and we'll see them again.